several people have asked me what I use for my start page. I use a product called ProtoPage. It's absolutely free and quite honestly it's the ultimate start page. This is what my page looks like. To get to the generic ProtoPage site, it's just protopage.com. When you go to that site, it will create a generic page that looks like this. Again, it's protopage.com. When you register on the site, you can pick your own custom name for your start page. So clicking register kicks you into the registration information. I've created a second page. I probably have 10 or 20 pages, but I've created a page called Liberty-Benton, and I've made it public. That means anyone can look at it without typing a password. If you make it private, every person who visits will have to know the password before they can get into the page. This is what my uh, generic page looks like. Uh, ProtoPage thinks I like Dilbert. Actually, they think everybody likes Dilbert, so when you create your page, you'll get that. It also thinks I'm in Santa Monica, so apparently today, right now anyways, in Santa Monica, California, it's 45 degrees. But you can customize this any way you'd like. Once you uh, click the login, type in your password you entered when you registered your site. Looks a little bit different. You'll get a bigger menu at the top with all of the customizations. So you can start maybe by changing the colors, whatever colors that you like. You can also, and this is the big thing, you can add widgets. When you click that, it'll pop out this widget box. And for me, I think the most important one is the bookmarks. So you click on bookmarks, and it gives you a little uh, pop out, which you drag onto your page. So if I drag this out of my page, I now have this generic bookmarks page which it pre-populates with Amazon, Google, Wikipedia, and the ProtoPage blog. Now, if you need different sites, which everybody needs different sites, you click the Edit. And this will put you into the very simple interface where all you have to do is type a label and a link. And you can see the format from the Amazon, Google, Wikipedia, ProtoPage blog links. There's blanks at the bottom where you can type in new links. Also, if you want to get rid of the ones that they have, you just click the X next to the one you want to get rid of, and it'll go away. If you ever want to rearrange, you'll use the up and down arrow keys, just slide them up and down. And that's it. You've got yourself uh, a new start page with bookmarks. If you go back and you watch number eight, you can see how to turn that into your browser start page. I took this generic one copied some things over from the website so it would be useful, and I turned it into this start page. This took about five minutes. You can find it at this URL.